my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas. It is a gorgeous day here in downstate New York and I have a Dollar Tree haul for everybody today. Some of this stuff goes back almost two weeks, so it's been a very long time, I feel like. But anyway, I have broken everything down into category for you and uh, we're gonna jump right in. We're gonna start with food and drink first. Food, drink, and candy. So first, let me show you. Okay, so I showed these in the walkthrough. If you missed the walkthrough, it's like three videos ago. I show things I didn't get or other varieties of things I did get. So if you want to take a peek at that. So I showed these in the walkthrough. These Loma Linda um, completely vegan products since 1890. And so they had these like last year, about a, like a year and a half ago or something. And it was one of you guys that told me about it something about like it's like a town in california or something that's like supposed to be really healthy and it's like the, it was like voted like the healthiest town on the planet or something like that and it was like seventh day evangelists and a whole bunch of stuff you guys taught me a whole bunch of stuff and then i and then i looked it up but um but yeah so they have these products back and a dollar is a steal so my mom's a vegetarian she's not vegan but I find these things for her and I pick them up and she gets excited. So I got a couple of the 10 ounce Thai green curry with plant-based chicken and rice. And I don't know if you can see it, but here is some of the nutritional information on that. And these are good until August 7th of this year, which is I think why we're getting them. It's kind of close, gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, just awesome, awesome stuff. So a couple of those microwave in 60 seconds. And then I got a few of these, this seafood alternative Thai sweet chili plant-based tuna, three ounces, good until June 12th of 2022. So there goes my theory on that, Never mind. And then we have, oh, my birthday. This is a 10 ounce Italian bolognese with konjac noodles. And this is good until December 10th, 2021. Again, microwave in 60 seconds. So really, really cool. Henny, stop terrorizing the neighborhood. She runs around. She runs around and barks at things. She loves it. Um, okay. Then the next thing I found is this six ounce bag of tiny hero quinoa. I don't think financially this is a good deal, <laughs> but anyway, grown in Canada, pretty cool. And the only ingredient is golden quinoa. So six ounce bag, good until March of 2023. So you got a pretty long time on that. I just picked up two little bags of that to have and then in another store yesterday, where was I? Riverhead. Yeah, Riverhead, if you're local and you're interested. They had these. I've never even seen this. So they had cans. And these are good until April 2023 as well. So this is also the Loma Linda. But they are these five ounce cans. This is a spicy plant-based tuna with sriracha. So I got two of those to give to my mom. And this one is a lemon pepper plant-based tuna. And this one is good until April, 2022. So yeah, I never saw canned items by them before. Then they have these new protein shakes, Members Mark, 11 fluid ounces. 160 calories, 30 grams of sugar, and one gram of total, I'm sorry, 30, no, 30 grams of protein and one gram of total sugar. And these are good until October, 2021. So I picked up a couple of those. Uh, then I found this, I'm sticking this in friend mail to somebody because I, I know who, because um, I thought it was fun. It's the Haribo Funtastic Mix. It's got all sweet and playful. I don't know. It's got all fun things in there. So I grabbed one of those. Uh, then I picked up three of these for my husband, the Victor Allen X Cafe Energy Latte. Six and a half fluid ounces, 120 milligrams of caffeine per can. And this is mocha flavor. 
And then I saw everybody hauling these, so they looked intriguing. I, I don't, I, they're not for me. I'm putting them in front now, but I just thought they were really cool. The two different types of Mike and Ikes. So we have the root beer float and the cotton candy. So I'll be sending those to a friend as well. And the next thing I found were these Tic Tacs. I got these Fruit Adventure, which I don't recall seeing. And then I got one orange. Made in Canada. Hmm, okay. And then they had this Autumn Mills Instant Oatmeal Original. You get six packs made in Canada as well. Uh, and that's going to be it on food and drinks, kind of. I'm going to get into one category that's going to perfectly transition us into toys. Because it's kind of candy, kind of toy. And it is these pop-ups, the lollipop holders figures um, with the chupa chups inside. So I got a couple of these for my son and to send to people. So I got two of the Marvel Iron Man. So one's going to be for my son. One is going to, I'm going to send to Patty's son, William, my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and more. So Iron Man. Spider-Man. Same thing. One for my son, one for William. Batman, one for my son, one for William. And then they had one each left of these. I think I'm going to send this to my friend, uh, Lisa, Lisa and Will, Will, Will. At, I have another, I have two, I have to make a package. I have things for, for Will from Lisa and Will's hauls. Go check them out. Tell them Theoni sent you. Um, so yeah, this guy, <laughs> I have no idea none is that a stormtrooper maybe i have no idea but yeah i know it's from star wars because it tells me i could have guessed it but yeah and then i think i'm keeping the schwatten the child he's so cute i love this it's still adorable so i got they only had one of those left that's going to transition us perfectly into toys so i grabbed a lot of like outdoor fun stuff for the summer so the one thing i grabbed i showed these in the walkthrough the different colors and stuff it's a launch and catch ball i kind of want to get a bigger ball to put in there maybe like a wiffle ball give that a shot i don't know maybe not no never mind it's too big to fit at the bottom but anyway it comes with this tiny 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 little ball so that's like little bowl big basket that should be pretty easy right but yeah i don't recall seeing those not that big anyway and then they had these this is a lawn dart game it comes with two rings and four darts they're just like weighted weighted darts thought that might be fun um, and then they had these splash discs and I showed all of them in the walkthrough. Um, I didn't get this for the pool. I got this as like a, a sensory toy as well um, because it's squishy and then it's got like these little things. So I just tried to pick one with like the happiest face. If you're using it as like a relaxing toy, I figured it should have a good face. That's a good face. Some of them looked angry. It's not going to help. So yeah. And then I got this bat plane for my son. What else? Okay, so then I showed all of these trolls things in the walkthrough. Tons and tons of trolls things all over the place. So I got these to keep in the Toys for Tots bin that I run all year long, which also if now that my son's starting like real school in the fall, he's starting kindergarten. If there's like birthday parties and stuff, I can also pull out of there. So that's what I was thinking with this Toys for Tots birthday party. So I tried to like make bundles almost. Uh, so I got three of 
three of the little people. So I got Barb. They had so many. I was like, well, I can't get all of them. It was crazy. And then this is Branch. And I got Tiny Diamond. And I got two. I think I, I got two. I might have gotten three. Another one might show up. I'm not sure. But I just got two of these little uh, tiny dancers. They're like little finger puppets, blind bags. Um, especially if it is for a birthday party, just to pair up there. Also, this isn't really a toy, but since it goes with this, I got one of these little magic towels with the trolls on them. So if he does have a birthday party come up uh, before Christmas, before I give all this stuff to Toys for Tots, there you go, there's a cute little present. So yeah, I just grabbed those. And then they had these little Peppa Pig figures, which I don't, I don't know. I don't remember seeing them before, but they had, they had them and they're not, they're not named. So I had to like figure it out on my own. I think this is the four. I was trying to get Peppa and George and Mommy Pig and Daddy Pig. So I just kind of looked at the clothing and I'm like, yeah, they, they look different. Okay. And then I got this humongous bubble maker. Create long giant bubbles. Oops. Whoops. Okay, apparently it has a color here, guys. Now you know. Contains one pink bubble wand. Oh well, it's just a color. Uh, includes one bubble maker. That's all it says. Bubble sold separately. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It shows that. It's like a string and two sticks and you put it in a bucket. I don't know. But it looks like fun. He'll love it. All right, next, moving on. And I think the last toy is this huge thing. Now, I saw people show these in walkthroughs. I had no idea they were so big. <laughs> it's huge. This is a bubble flying disc with dipping tray. So you put the bubbles, it says, put the tray on the floor, fill it with bubble solution, not included. Uh, flip the bubble saucer upside down and dip into the tray and then pick up the bubble saucer and throw. So it's like a bubble Frisbee. And it came in all different colors. I showed them in the walkthrough too, but I just picked up lime green whatever but that that looks like a lot of fun like i feel like i would enjoy that myself say okay uh that's it for toys now i'm going to show you some books and movies that i got not not many books i got uh two of the same one and that's it so they had this it's it's a uh, marvel captain marvel fly higher do one brave thing every day. Um, I can kind of see through the sticker and it looks like it retailed for $16.99 if I'm not mistaken. And what it is, it's a, it's a journal. Look how nice. It's a journal, a dated journal. Some are lined, some are blank. Uh, what piece of advice would you give to kids who are younger than you? Captain Marvel will risk everything to fight for the people she loves. Whom in your life would you risk everything for and why? So it's just like a nice reflection journal for kids. Uh, it says, being a superhero takes more than power. This guided journal gives you 365 ways to be brave and build confidence. No matter what page you open to, you'll find a prompt that will empower you to be brave, be confident, be thoughtful, be kind, be yourself. Being brave is like flying. The higher you climb, the further and faster you'll go. So I got one definitely for one of my cousins for like Christmas or something. And then... I got an extra, either for his sister, maybe. I like to give them the same thing, so I might just do that. But I was thinking, whatever. I'll, if I could definitely find something to do with one of them, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, I got two of those. Th those are the only books. Then some movies. I found this Lego DC Comics Superheroes Justice League Gotham City Breakout. All new movie. My son is going to love that. Love that. Um, I 78 minutes, so it is a full-length movie. 
And then I got two of these because one is, I'm going to send one also to William, Patty's son. This is Green Lantern. 77 minutes. This is DC Universe, original animated movie. And then I got Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay. This is rated R. So uh, I think I might just, I might, I might send this to, to William. It just looked cool. I just grabbed it right before I was checking out. Um, and then I just had to get this because of nostalgia for me. I don't know if anybody remembers the show, if you're like around my age, but this is a Nickelodeon. This is season one, two disc set of the show, Hey Dude. Anybody remember that? I used to watch that. That's why I got it. I was so excited when I saw this. I couldn't believe it. And it's so funny. I know I'm like digressing. What else is new? But like, do you guys ever watch anything from like when you, and I'm not talking like 60s and 70s or even 80s. I watch things from like 90s and, and like earlier 2000s now that like I was used to and I cannot believe how bad the video quality is. Like, it's amazing. I don't, like even um, reruns of Roseanne or Fresh Prince of Bel Air, like you watch them now and you're like, wow, that's what it looked like, huh? They look so terrible. It's so crazy to me. Anyway, yes, my digression. Maybe the only one for the video, maybe not, not sure. All right, let's move on to the next category. The next category I'm going to move into is house stuff. And if it is your first time watching me, house stuff for me means everything from cleaning products to decor to dishware to everything. So let me get started on that. So I picked up two each of these, but I already gave my mom one each. These are the LA's Totally Awesome. And I'm so glad to see them at Dollar Tree. I became obsessed with the cherry blossom one that I could only find at Dollar General and not always but anyway so I was very happy to find these so this is the LA's totally awesome bathroom cleaner soap scum mold and mildew remover in fresh scent 32 fluid ounces and this is the daily shower cleaner uh works on contact that's it and fresh scent and it smells so good it smells so good I'm so happy so I got those and then this is baby, but we'll say housewares. So I showed these in the walkthrough. These were the two uh, not pink ones that I found. So this one has all like safari animals on it. These baby, baby sippy cups. And this is sea creatures. Um, these are 36 months and up and it's got a flip straw. So you flip the top and the straw comes out. Not easily, but there it is. So I thought that was, those are pretty cool and they're nice and big too. So I got those. Um, then this is a repurchase, but I picked these up for my friend Patty. These scrub it two in one non scratch microfiber cleaning pads for glasses, dishes, pots and pans, sinks, and cooktops. And then I found these made in Taiwan, distributed by Core Pacific Inc. So it is not, not, a, uh, not distributed by Greenbrier, it's Dr. Ruder Plumbing. They call it a hair cyclone, is guaranteed to catch every strand of hair. And this is the tub edition. I guess there were, there's probably a sink edition, but I don't know. Insert cyclone into the drain, install in seconds. The hair wraps up neatly around the cylinder. Simply clean or reuse or dispose of the cyclone. I don't know, I don't know. But I figured I would give that a try. That looks pretty cool. And then these things. <laughs> so my friend Melissa over at M&M's Holes and More, go check her out, tell her Theoni sent you the letter M symbol and letter M, M&M's Holes and More. Um, she had sent me one. I wanted these for around Christmas. I never found them, whatever. So I found them, finally. 
and I was like, I gotta get them out of principle so that I have, you know, more than one anyway. It's these huge sphere ice molds. So not only can you make these huge spheres, it's really nice in a pitcher or something like that. Um, but I was thinking if I want to do hot cocoa bombs or the newest thing, you melt iso malt and you make tea balls. Um, this way I can make more than four at a time, you know, while everything's uh, still hot when you're working with it. So now I can make a dozen of whatever at once. So super cool. I had to get it. Had to get it because this item like cursed me. And if you've been watching me and you know the story, I even ordered it off of Amazon. It got canceled. It got a whole, a whole bunch of stuff. Anyway, okay, moving on. Oh, my second digression for the video. Oh, well. Then I got this. I'm going to add this to my mother's, um, the bee themed part of my mother's Mother's Day gift. And it is this gold framed let it be decorative sign and it's got a little hanger back there for you or it's thick enough to just stand by itself and then they had three or four new signs like this new designs and I picked up this plain one that just says Wi-Fi password it's shaped like a tag with a little jute hanger jute rope really really cute if this video is not crazy long i will put in footage at the end but we'll see how that goes and then they had three different ones of these i think three she was just putting them out it was like a turquoise one a black one and of course the purple one grabbed my attention and it's got a gold trim so it's like a cut geode it's just a thin stand-up decorative plaque i just loved it so i got the purple one of course and uh, this was a wish list item and I was so happy to find it. So they had these in black and white. I picked up two white ones and these are just to hang pictures or notes or whatever. I think what I'm gonna do, I have ones from Dollar Tree now. It was like a frame type thing with a jute hanger and clips. I have two of those hanging right now. For like my son's artwork and school projects and things like that i think i'm going to switch them out with these because i think these are prettier so that's what i got those for was to display his artwork and projects and i think i'm also going to switch these out these metal clips that it comes with it only comes with three each um hopefully i can switch it out we'll see but i think i would like to get the little mini clothes pins the wood clothes pins from the crafter square section i think that would look more my style so we shall see if that works but yeah picked up two of those and then I picked up uh one wall stickers again for Patty's son William at Patty's Chance Holes and more this is Marvel Eternals 12 wall decals and it is made in the USA it is not distributed by Greenbrier I have no idea what that is, but I figured he probably does and he might like that. And he can put that on whatever he wants, a notebook or whatever. And then also, speaking of Marvel, and this was a wish list item as well. I saw Melissa over at M&M's Holes and More show this. And I was like, oh, I want one. So I always um, put out a mat when my son is playing with Play-Doh or slime. Those are the rules. So I got him one of these placemats these marvel placemats and it has all the characters in there so amazing and i did get an extra to send to william again so yeah and i have their bag right there that i keep putting stuff in so yes okay okay then uh this was in the 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 party section kind of but anyway i'll show it with housewares i just loved it because i have like bucket and container issues so this is a clear bucket they show two champagne bottles in there they call it an ice bucket I just love the shape I loved everything about it clear acrylic I thought this would be really cute even as like a chip bowl or something rolls little dinner rolls if you're having a big dinner I don't know at a barbecue your buns you know I just loved it so I just got one of those And then, I'll be completely honest with you. I had no idea who this was. <laughs> it did say Star Wars on the bottom, so that's all I knew. 
and these are by Zach. Uh, the cashier is the one who tipped me off. The cashier, when she was ringing me up, she goes, oh, it took me a minute, that's Han Solo. I said, okay, <laughs> I have no idea, none. But yeah, it's these little, uh, I want to say phone booth, but it looks more like a like a generator. I don't know. You guys are going to hate me. If you're into Star Wars, you're probably like dying right now. So, yeah, they're supposed to be mugs, I guess. I guess the shape is kind of uh, inconvenient, but definitely like a pencil holder or something. Like a vase? I don't know. But I got two of those. One for William, Patty's son. And then uh, again for Will over at Lisa and Will's Halls. Because if he doesn't have that, I think he'll like that a lot. So yes, put this in Patty's bag. Okay, and I, uh, okay. This was also a wish list item and I'm so happy I found it. These round serving trees, I absolutely love them. So I was catching them when they were just putting them out or else I would have never gotten them. So luck was just on my side. Uh, I got three. I got two to do a tear tray. Obviously, how could you not? So I got two to do a tear tray and then I got one to actually use as a tray. Cause I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I love the, the, the edge so nothing falls off. I thought it would be really nice to bring out iced coffee or something out here or just lemonades, anything. So one to actually use as a tray and then two for a tear tray. Now the next thing, uh, is home decor, but it's part of Mother's Day, so I don't know. But I didn't really get anything else specifically Mother's Day. I guess we'll just kind of slide over. I don't really know. But they had, I showed these in the walkthrough as well. Uh, one said, thank you for all you do for something, for us, I think, something like that. And then this one says, we love you with all our hearts. So I just got this one for my mom. I thought it was really cute and I think she'll like that. So I'm just gonna add that to her present. And then I got this box um, to do my husband's mother's. And then I ended up adding so much more stuff so this isn't gonna cut it anymore. But I just got this really cute glittery butterfly box with the scalloped edge lid to put her now it's like a portion of her Mother's Day present, but that's that. Um, all right, that's so let's let's move into the next category. All right, the next category we're gonna move into is summer, outdoor, Fourth of July, that whole kind of thing. So the first thing I picked up was this huge bucket. Yes, it does have stuff in it right now. This huge, huge, huge bucket. I thought it would be great uh, when, you know, when you don't want to do a, a whole cooler or something and you just put ice in it, water bottles, you know. They had red, white, and blue. I picked up uh, two of the white. I gave one to my mom already. And then I picked up one of these. They had... Uh, white and blue I think <clears throat> I can't really remember but I wanted to get this because I saw I saw you know online I saw stuff for D DIY bubbles to make like a bubble station so that's what I want wanted to do and you saw earlier in this haul I bought so many bubble toys you know that you're gonna go through tons so I figured I'm gonna try it. I mean, they, there's all different ones. There's like ones with cornstarch, there's ones with uh, glycerin, there's ones with um, corn syrup, sugar, I think there's one. So there's all different types of recipes for DIY bubbles uh, because it's not just soap and water. I didn't know that <laughs> until I started looking. But now I know why when I was growing up, when we used to try to make our own bubbles, it was never quite the same. That's why, because we just did soap and water. Now we know. So I just thought it would be really cute. And then I could just write, you know, put, sti I don't have a cricket. So I could just put stickers on there or something, you know, letter stickers that says uh, bubble station, something cute. I don't know. But that's what I got that for. Thought that was cool. And I think my son will have a blast. Uh, then... 
I got these two tablecloths to bring to Greece. <laughs> I know I'm ridiculous, but here's that design I'm obsessed with again. So they, 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 they had uh, oblong, they had oval. I didn't see square, I don't think, but they had oblong, they had oval, and then this is round. This is a uh, 60 inch round. So I got two of those to bring, and this is the flannel back, the thin, thin, thin flannel back, but it's better than just the party ones. But I got two of those to bring to Greece because I love this. And I got the matching cushions for the chairs. Okay, matchy, matchy. And then I saw my friend Lee over at Lee's home. Please go check her out. Tell her Theoni sent you if you have not already. L-E-I-G-H, Lee's home. I saw her haul this and I was like, oh, I need that in my life. So this is the ice cube tray. This is, I, I, I never like the ones that they put out in the summer. I don't use them for ice anyway. I use them for chocolate. Um, but there's, a, you know, it's like a flamingo, a pineapple, or whatever. I'm like, I don't, I think there was like a toucan one year. But this, these are shells. These are little scallop shells and they're pretty deep. So I just thought that would be really, really nice for chocolate, for molding chocolate. So I got one of those. And then I got this three pack of foldable fans for the 4th of July because it's always hot. And this has really cool designs this year. So I don't know if you can see this, but this one is the ice cream one, like the the bag I bought the the fourth of July tote bag at one point should I just open them I'll open them I'll open them so it has the ice cream it has the truck yeah that's the truck one and this is the ice cream one I think yeah see the patriotic ice creams like the bag and this one is just stars on a blue background so I, I get a pack of those every year for the 4th of July because they are much needed even though we have the pool it's still like just sitting there you're like Ugh. And then I got these. I don't really like the pineapples. I know they had a pineapple and a cactus. I'm like, man, I don't, I don't know what to get. But what I really did like was the spoon. Now in the walkthrough, I showed that they had two different color flamingos, a lighter pink and a darker pink. But the bottom of those is just the foot, the flamingo foot. But they had a cactus and a pineapple with the little spoon on the end. So I thought that was kind of cool that works with more stuff maybe like a root beer float or something that would be really really good um or even like an iced teaspoon i don't know i just wanted the spoon pineapple okay whatever you get four of them all right then these were on my wish list since last year uh these are the little inflatable tabletop coolers so you can just put ice in it 19 and a half inches by 14 inches and it has the Statue of Liberty on it, which is awesome. I mean, it's not very big, but I don't, you know what this would be really cool for? Like clams on the half shell or oysters on the half shell or something like that. I think that would be cool. Anyway, so yeah, I got a couple of those just to have. And then I got this, this sweet summer glittery ice cream cone. Now, I've been wanting to do an ice cream deco mesh wreath for a very long time, and I plan on putting this in the center, and also um, I've been saving, or I've been making my son save, you know the three pack of ice cream cone bubbles that Dollar Tree has had? I've been having him save those for me too, so that's that's the goal, and when I saw these, I was like, oh, I could use this in my, in my ice cream wreath. So I picked up one of those. And I think this is gonna be the last outdoor item. This took me two different stores. So I feel like they're popular. I don't think they've had anything like this before, but they have these and it has like the, the patriotic tag. So 
they have these solar stakes in, in clear red and blue. Yeah. So it took me two stores, but I got two sets to put outside on each side of my entry gate. I thought those were super awesome. All right, so that's it for, I believe, something might creep up on us, you know how that works. But I think that is it for the summer, outdoor, 4th of July, that whole thing. So let's move on to the next category. And the next category is going to be like the stationary aisle, like the school supply aisle. All right, so you saw these in the walkthrough, you, you know, you already know. These Dixon Ticonderoga eight pack of animal print pencils. You get leopard print, zebra, giraffe, and tiger stripes, two of each. I'll save some of these for my son's school supplies too. I'll give him the giraffe and the tiger probably. He'll think that's cool. Then uh, the rest of these I'm gonna like, you know, throw in his like school stash cause they're just awesome. So these are, it almost, it, I think it's like bamboo. I think it's like bamboo leaves kind of, but I got two packs of these. At first I thought it was marble. You're not going to be able to see it here, but it, it really, I think, I think it's, I think it's bamboo leaves. That's what it's looking like to me. But you get eight of those as well. And then I got one pack of the colored ones. So I'll keep the purple, give him the rest. And then I got him two packs of these. The, my first Ticonderoga. The, the chunky ones so it's easier for them to hold and then I got one of these 15 count Ticonderoga neon erasers you get three of the big ones and then 12 of the toppers so that's what I should have gotten two of those should have gotten two of those because you know I won't give him the pink but okay so um now this next thing I was so excited to find because, uh, sorry, it requires a story. Three years ago, when he was like one, I got him two packs of them at the time. Thank goodness I at least got two. But Jot had put out these paint brush marker things. And they were amazing. You kind of like squeezed them and it was they were just paint things. And... I didn't know that it was like special. So I figured I would find them again. No, never found them again. And they were the coolest thing ever. And I was like hoping I would find them again. Then I would like look online and I was like, oh no, I'm not spending that much money, you know, on Amazon and stuff. So I was so beside myself to find these the other day by ink, which is distributed by Greenbrier. They only had two, I showed these in the walkthrough, two color combinations. These are brush markers. Again, brush tip, great for hand lettering or calligraphy. I, I just think he's gonna have so much fun drawing with these. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's, it's, it's still pretty cool. So I hope the tip is flexible. Should we see? Let's see. Let's see if that tip is flexible at all. So that's, no, it's not, it's not flexible. So it's not as cool as what he had, but you can do very different strokes and stuff. The one, the ones that Jot had put out was an actual like paintbrush at the end of this. So I'm not quite as excited, but whatever. I mean, you're not supposed to like break it, right? No. So it just, it moves, it moves a little bit. There's a little flex on the tip is what's going on there. All right. I was more excited than I should have been, but whatever. They're still cool. They're still cool markers and they write very well. They're very wet and nice. So you get uh, red, orange, yellow, and then green, blue, purple. So I got two packs of each for him to, to draw with and stuff. Uh, all right, and I think that's it for the stationary aisle. And now I'm gonna move on to crafty things. So the first thing I picked up, I wish they had even smaller ones, but whatever. Picked up a three pack of the flat, 
four by six canvases. And if you saw my blessings by mail video, I was saying, um, so my cousin is deployed in Syria right now and he wants my son to make him something really small that he can keep with him in his backpack because that's like the only thing that he's allowed to have. You know, there's no like, he doesn't have like a, a locker or the storage that he did in like other places. So he carries everything in his backpack before he got deployed my son gave him in this like little egg um it was like a little a little sailor a little it was from the finders keepers those like eggs that have like the chocolate with the little figure in there uh and it was a little seaman in a little white navy outfit it, it almost looked like a little lego guy and you could bend his legs and he would sit and my son gave him that in this little egg and uh and my my cousin absolutely loved it and he said he would carry that in his backpack but now he wants like a picture I was hoping for something smaller, but whatever. I might be able to cut it and then like trim it with with something and have them draw on it. But that's what we're doing with that. Uh, okay, so the next crafty thing, I got this. I don't know if I took pictures of uh, the other varieties. I can't remember. Uh, but this is an iron-on art transfer and it's little silver studs. So I got this from my friend Patty. If she wants to iron on and make a make a shirt or pants or pajamas or something, but she loves butterflies, so I thought that was cool. The patty bag. Uh, and then this is a repurchase, but if you uh, watch me, when I first found it, I only found three, and I'm like, I'll get the three in hopes that I find a fourth, and if not, I can have a I'll make a pillow, and then I'll have like a little tablecloth you know whatever and I finally found a fourth and it is this like mint mint green and white gingham fat quarter so I got one now I can make two pillows got to get on that while it's spring and summer okay and the next item I found is this uh it's by crafter square I, I got this for my friend Gina because she makes beautiful things I don't know I thought it was cool so it's it's 100% polyester but it's it's faux leather so uh, this was in Riverhead if you're local they only had two colors it's this like camel brown the Sun is making it look dark a little darker than it actually is it's it's like football color um, and then white and it's like pebbled like leather and you get 11 and 3 quarter inches by 20 inches so I picked up two each of those for my friend Gina did I say that was Riverhead? That's Riverhead. This was also Riverhead. I picked up several of these because I, I, I'm going to, I think I'm going to send them. <laughs> I'm also going to send these, but they had peace sign rings, wreath forms. What are they calling them? Yeah. Peace sign wreath form. I picked up a few of these because I, I, uh, I have some hippie souls in my life that I think would like this or no, I was going to say, maybe I can make the the wheel that I'm never going to find, but it doesn't quite line up anyway. Um, but they show it here florally. It's so pretty. See that? So pretty. So yeah, grab those. All right. And I think that's it for crafty stuff as well. So now we're going to move on to the next category, okay, the next category. And let me finish up because the sun is changing on me. Uh, Next category is going to be like the tool bench, car, that whole aisle, if you know what I mean. All right, so electronics. So the first thing I picked up from the tool bench is a repurchase, and I'm showing you this as a PSA. Okay, so I got these latex gloves and this construction worker yellow with this nice thick latex bottom. I got these for my stepfather because he said he, I got him the all black ones, the shipping and uh, packing gloves that they had that were not distributed by Greenbrier and he loved them so he asked me if he could if I could find them more clearly I can't that was a one off item but then they came out with these and I'm like oh okay I don't think he's gonna like the color but let me get them so I got them everything requires a story so I got them and he loved them shockingly he's like oh these are awesome these look like they'll hold up a long time I said I was afraid you wouldn't like the color he's like oh I don't care shocked if you knew my stepfather you'd be shocked too then the other day, he sends me a picture. He texts me a picture. He goes, what's wrong with this picture? And it was the gloves, these gloves, face down. And he had two left gloves. 
they packaged two left gloves. Yeah. So luckily I had bought him a backup already. So I said, great, well, I have another pair for you. And they were correct. So then I saw them again in a store and I'm like, let me get him a backup now since the first pair was garbage. So, and I checked in the store to make sure because <laughs> I don't trust it anymore. So make sure. Who knew, right? The things that we have to check. Thank you, Dollar Tree. Also, uh, if you guys remember way back, I bought like a little, it was a little book and I bought a couple copies of them, but one of them was, was, was bounded upside down from the cover, upside down, yeah. You have to like check everything, it's ridiculous. But anyway, yeah, check, make sure you're getting a left and right glove. But that's, that's the story involved with that. Uh, next, I did get a whole bunch of phone cases because I'm kind of obsessed. And they're finally just starting to come out with more designs. So I got this one. This is mirror, so I'm not going to hold it in front of you, but it's pure mirror. Uh, this one is a rose gold kind of with a mirror up top, which is really cool. And you got to check your lipstick or if something's in your eye. And then they came out with a couple of new glitters. So this one is a multicolor glitter there. This one is a pink glitter. And then they came out with this like turquoisey leopard print, which I thought was really cute. So yeah, I like switching them up. Why not? These are, you know, these just pop off. When I used to have the ones that were like four pieces together, I would like never want to take that thing off because it was crazy. All right, then also in Riverhead, if you're local, and I got one of each for my friend Patty as well. So Patty, if you're watching, you're getting one each of these. They had Mentos air fresheners for the car. This is by Sterling Teal International, Naples, Florida, made in the USA. So they had three different scents of these Mentos air fresheners. So this one is Cool Mint. I thought that was so adorable. <laughs> and then they had Cherry. And they had Bubblegum smell so good my bags were my sh my shopping bags were like smelling so good all right so i'm gonna put one of each of these in the patty bag these three are for me and i think that is all for that aisle now can i show you a few randoms that really have no other place to go so let me just show you um all right, so I picked up, these were the socks I was looking for, for Patty's son, William, and I finally found them, the black taco socks, men's. So I finally found those. Then I picked up this cat toy. It's a styrofoam ball wrapped in yarn. I got this for Patty and William's cat, Bobby. And then these were by the register. There was a couple of other colors. Again, if this isn't crazy long, I'll put footage at the end. But these little sequins coin purses, like old school 80s, early 90s coin purses, I can't even stand it. So I got like the white with iridescent and then I got these were, I thought these were absolutely beautiful. And guys, the underneath, underneath the sequins, right? The, 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 the substrate is velvet yes so look at how gorgeous these are it's this like deep rose with the sequins so i got i got i got one of these for my mom for sure i'm going to add that into her her uh mother's day gift and then i don't know i might keep both for myself i don't know <laughs> I don't know, but I definitely got one of these for my mom because to me, it looks very twenties, this color. So I think my mom's going to love that. Love that. So I got those three. All right. That's it for randos that had no places. And now the last category is going to be health and beauty. And then we're going to finish. So let's do it. I have it all here to my side. Okay. First thing I found which I thought was interesting. This was hanging up by the reading glasses and sunglasses. The, this is an eyeglass cleaning cloth, but it's anti-fog. So it's in a resealable zipper pouch, you know, like a Ziploc bag. 
It's for resin lenses, coated lenses, sport glasses, lenses, swimming lenses, organic lenses, inorganic lenses, optical glass, bathroom, helmet, and other transparent glass and plastic. So it says it has an organic polymer and active titanium dioxide. The fiberglass fiber filament contains special molecules to prevent condensation on the lens. So I was thinking sunglasses in the summer, you know, like when you're sweating a little bit and they get foggy, awesome. And how about your bathroom mirrors? I'm gonna give that a try, that's for sure. <clears throat> we'll see what happens, but yeah. And, and then um, it even it shows snorkel, you know, goggles and things like that. I wish cameras. Wish I had that when I had my my uh, my motorcycle. I would have loved to try that on a full face helmet because that always got foggy and nasty. All right, uh, moving on. I didn't know like where to put that. I mean, it's health and beauty kind of right. I don't know. So whatever. And then they had these, even though they were tool bench, whatever. Uh, heavy duty dust mask made in the USA by Core Pacific. So you get two of them in a pack and they have the nose, nose clip, nose clamp. Then I got two of these. This is Freeman Feeling Beautiful Plumping Manuka Honey and Nectarine Lip Mask. It's in a lip shape. It says it down there at the bottom. Instantly hydrates and softens for fuller lips. I think I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw one of those in to my uh, husband's mother's Mother's Day gift. Then I just got one of these. This is Global Beauty 60 Count Makeup Cleansing Wipes with coconut oil and vitamins A, C, and E. So that's, that's a huge path of wipes. You know, if this was at TJ Maxx or something, it would be like $3.99, $4.99, probably, right? $3.99, I'd say. Um, okay, then I found this. I thought this was interesting. So this is Power Stick for Her Ultra Nourishing Shea Hand Cream, Fast Absorbing and Quick Drying. And it says no fingerprints and shows the phone. Interesting. Six and a half fluid ounces doesn't say a scent made in the USA it just smells like like shea butter so yeah so one of those then I got two of these I showed these in the walkthrough as well spa scriptions active essentials restore and repair overnight mask lavender and vanilla 1.7 ounce it says to use evenly apply to skin as the last step in your routine leave on overnight and rinse off in the morning so i thought that looked pretty amazing for a dollar and then i showed these in the walkthrough as well this is by brighter days this is a tri-fold pill and storage box So it shows a whole bunch of different things you can do there. That's cute. It's got like, in this picture, it's got like band-aids and stuff, but it also shows jewelry and all of these things. So again, I was thinking travel. Three hinged layered compartments. Three section compartment holds cough drops, earplugs, and capsules. Four section compartment can store rings, pills, and earrings. The undivided compartment can fit cotton swabs and bandages. Uh, measures a compact four and a quarter by two and three quarters by 1.5 inches when closed. Henny, leave the people alone. She's patrolling. That's what she does. It's the German Shepherd in her. That's her happy place. Terrorizing people. So this is what it looks like. Oh, that's nice. That's hinged too. I like that. So you got that. And that, so you got four squares, three rectangles, and then this one big wide area. That is so cool, I love that. I can't wait to travel, I'm so excited. Okay, two of those, and then 
I got, God help me. I got this for my son from my mom's house. He enjoys Blippi every once in a while. I wish he didn't because Blippi gets on my nerves, but he'll think this is super cool. So this is by Brush Buddies. You get a Blippi toothbrush, a toothbrush cover, and a Blippi cup. Your very own Blippi cup. Yeah. He's going to love that. All right. Then they've never had these before. Not that I've seen. So if you recall in previous hauls, I hold these Be Safe masks, right? They come with three filters and a filter pocket. They're terrible filters, though. They're like worse than coffee filters. Um, but you could put your own if you order K90, KN95 filters off of Amazon and stuff. They'll fit in there, too. But this is kid size. So they have this like super, super dark blue one with a black trim. You're probably not going to be able to see that. And then they had this. I mean, come on. Come on now. Come on. But I will tell you. The adult ones of these are hu huge, it's just a huge mask. So I'm thinking is this will probably be a little too big for my son, but let's see. So in case you missed it the first time. Oh, that's fused in there. That's fused in there. That's annoying. But here's your three packs of filters in there <laughs> that they fused down at the bottom by accident. It's, I mean, that's like, that's like an adult size mask. So it is big, but anywho, I got those. This next item is a repurchase. If you watched the haul where I first hauled these, I said, man, I wish I had gotten more for Toys for Tots because I think that would be super cool and enjoyable. And luckily I did find some more. So I picked up two more to throw in my Toys for Tots bin. It is these Firefly Lion King electric toothbrushes for a dollar. I think that is absolutely amazing. And I think that'll make some kid very, very, very happy. That probably has never had anything like that before. So I got two more of those for Toys for Tots. And then also for Toys for Tots, I found these. I don't know who these people are. Tr Treasure X marks the spot. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is. Anyway, but these are also electric toothbrushes. So I got one of each. It's got that and that. And then those are the covers. put that in toys for tots as well and then I got this for my son just for fun or like when we travel I think he's gonna love these never seen them have this before Marvel Avengers three pack I showed these in the walkthrough as well so you have Captain America Iron Man and Black Panther kids soft toothbrushes three pack and continuing with toothbrushes I also picked up one of these by dental guru it says TSA approved so it comes with, now on the back it says it'll come with either a Colgate or Crest toothpaste. All the ones at my store were a Crest 3D white. I can't use that, my teeth are too sensitive, but my husband will when we travel. Um, and this is a cornstarch handle and cover. How cool is that? And charcoal infused bristles. Um, and I'm assuming it's soft. Does it actually say it anywhere? Oh, well, no, it's the, it's the, it's the charcoal. So that's fine but I absolutely love these toothbrushes they're nice and soft and wonderful and to find it in a travel pack I was very excited all right we're finally done with toothbrushes okay let's move on so I was looking for this forever and I finally found the Yardley Wild Rose Bar Soap so this is going to be thrown into one of my mom's you know my mom's Mother's Day oh it smells amazing I should have gotten more Check out the merch shelf. I believe I do have some. I should have gotten more items on there because it's my life. I should have gotten more. It smells so good. Can I tell you? Can I digress again? Why not? Go hard or go home. We're already like, you've spent the day with me. Let's just go. So there's a Greek tradition. Greeks have superstitions and traditions for everything. So it's more accurately a superstition. But there's a very strong Greek superstition that you cannot hand anybody soap. You will fight with them. That's what the, the tradition says. The superstition says like you have to like place it down and then they have to pick it up. So my mom like yells at me every time I, I give her soap. Anyway, 
I've gotten her like liquid soap before and she's yelled at me. I'm like, that's liquid soap. It's not the same thing. It, like it's a bar, it's supposed, I don't know. I don't know, but for real, Greeks have superstitions about everything. I would love to do a video one day getting my mom on here and maybe even the other thrifty diva and talking about <laughs> the endless Greek superstitions that there are. It would be absolutely amazing. I would probably laugh our butts off and so would you guys. So yeah, anyway, bar of salt for my mom that I'll get yelled at for. Then for my uh, husband's mother for Mother's Day, um, I got her a couple things. I got her this Broadway, Broadway Colors matte lip color in Woodbury. That's like a perfect color that she would wear. Okay. Uh, then I got her this Broadway Colors eyebrow kit because she does she does do that so she'll like that then for myself i got these i got one of each that i found the l'oreal paris infallible paints metallics so there's three different colors this is 404 caged if you can see that this is like a ch light chocolatey metallic and then this is 402 brass knuckles even though it looks more like golden. And then we have 400 rose chrome, which is clearly a rose gold. So yeah, I got one of each of those. I think that's amazing for a dollar too, if I'm not mistaken. Then I think these are gonna be the last two items in this haul. Okay. I got these that I showed in the walkthrough. So now I found these at two different stores, the same ones. I'm like, come on, switch it up a bit. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten. This is a ten color palette by Hard Candy, and this is in Smoke Out. If you can see that, oh gosh, you're seeing all of my purchases. I saw a toothbrush just now. Yeah. Okay, and then I found one more hard candy item, and this is going to end it. So this is a highlighting palette, Struck by Light, 1382. If I can, trees, I <laughs> can it's so hard. All right, that's a little, we'll just slide this across here. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So, all right, cool. it's a nice highlighting palette. That's it, guys. That's gonna do it for today's video. If you have not hit that subscribe button already, we would love if you would consider it and become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, an emoji, anything. It really helps the algorithm and YouTube loves that kind of stuff. So that's it humongous video i'm not going to add on footage because that's just crazy so until the next video stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you